division course, you don't look familiar to me. Are you a student in this department? No, actually I'm not. Okay. Have you had other classes in the Slavic languages department here or somewhere else? No, that's the thing. I was just wondering how good my Polish would have to be, whether the class is taught in Polish or not. Well, you'd have to have some knowledge of it. By that level, a lot of the students are quite fluent. Plus, there are some native speakers in the department. And we don't plan for it to happen, but it's pretty common for the discussions to kind of move in and out of English and Polish. And it can be difficult to follow. So uh, how well do you speak Polish? Mm, not so great. It's just that my father's from there, so I'm interested in learning about, you know, Polish history, Polish culture. Plus, I'm studying drama. I'll probably major in it. I, I love plays, so I thought your course might be perfect. Mm, to be honest with you, you have to realize that we'll be watching videos of performances, and maybe, if we can swing it, even watch a live performance. And those won't necessarily be in translation. Also, texts. Texts are sometimes available in translation, but even then, some references will be to the original. I'd hope you'd be fairly confident in reading. Mm, to be honest, it sounds totally over my head. You know what? I believe they'll be offering a survey course on Polish literature. Let me check here. Yes, I, I thought it was being offered this time. Professor Jaworski's teaching it. Let's see, it covers the major works, you know, epic romantic poetry, the novels, and it does cover one or two plays. And this is in English? Yes, you'll be reading mostly English translations, and the discussions will be in English. Hmm. Novels and poetry. They'll provide you with a great historical context for the plays, so when you do get to them, you're going to really have a feel for the times they lived in, so to speak. Plus, this course might also give you the impetus to learn more Polish, you know, get it to the level where you'd be ready for the other class. Hmm. Oh, and that is the end, ladies. So what do you think? What do you think about my notes? Are my notes sexy? Let's just go over my notes real quick. <laughs> student teach Polish drama. To, I'm sorry, not student. A teacher, Polish drama. And then she said that's the upper division. Other classes in Polish. And the student said, how good? And then the professor said, oh, fluent native speakers. It's difficult to follow. Conversation in and out of English. How much do you speak? He says that he loves plays and drama. She said, well, we're going to be watching videos in Polish, live performances. Texts are available in translation. However, how confident are you in reading English? And then she goes on to say, oh, there is a survey course on political literature. It's about poetry, novels. I don't know what the fuck I wrote after that. <laughs> but it's in English. Great context. Learn more Polish. Good enough. Good enough. And wow. I, what, what about you ladies? Let me hear it. Ray, what did you write? Almost the same thing, right? To me, it's the same. Oh my God. Yeah, no, I, uh, I start to write. I forgot. I can I can do the same thing here to write. It's so perfect. Uh, I see. Okay. 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 So Ray, what kind of well, Ray, what kind of uh, advice would you give Pierina in terms of listening and writing in English? Because a lot of people do have that difficult mind to hand coordination. Uh, don't stop. Keep writing. Keep, Keep writing. writing. Anything, anything that you can hear, anything that can help you. Okay, Pierina. Now sometimes you're gonna write something like you're gonna be like, man, why did I write that? Hey. It's all about practice and you're going to iron out all those nasty details and then you're going to come up with a masterpiece. Okay. So if we look at this right here, let's go. So what was it generally about? What was it like the conversation? What was it mainly about? But, well, so by looking at mine, I'm like, okay, well, he came there. Now it's not about, it's the, the conversation. It's not about why did the student go see the teacher? What are they mainly discussing? They're trying to figure out a way for him about going into a Polish course to learn some Polish before he goes into a upper division course. So she's trying to recommend him things. I just summarized that. So let's see what we got in A. A says whether the student should specialize in English drama. Did this have anything to do with English drama? Dun, dun, 
do, do. Did you write down English drama anywhere? No, they, they won Polish, Polish Ex drama. Exactly. And I did write down that the student said he loves plays and drama, but does the entire thing have to do with English drama? Absolutely not. Eliminate A. Let's go to B. Whether the student should take an advanced course in Polish drama? Well, that was stated at the very beginning. Teach Polish drama, upper division course. So he wants to learn Polish drama. And whether the student should take an advanced course? Well, kind of similar. 60%, I would say. Not bad. Let's go to C. Whether the student can learn about Polish history by taking courses in Polish literature? I think that one. Yeah. Did you write down history? Uh, no. Yeah, she I might have heard that. Literature. She says, take a Polish literature to with English translation that can help you. La, la. Yeah, it's more about novels and poetry, epic romantic. Yeah, I'm a little bit scared to see. Okay, how about D? How the student can improve his Polish language skills. I guess it's the D, the last one. Okay, you think it's more about Polish language skills rather than uh, taking uh, advanced course in Polish drama? Exactly. Practicing, practicing in Polish drama. B. Oh. Now, let me tell you something real quick. I want to just tell you that this may be wrong. Maybe the dumbass Chinese re uh, uh, wrote this question in a different way. If, if it is B, the question should have said, why did the student see the professor? To see whether the student should take an advanced Polish drama. That is called the main just purpose question. But if you're talking about what are they mainly discussing, I do agree with you, Pierina. I do believe it's D, how to improve his language skills. So I think the Chinese are fucking stupid. I do believe the answer is D, but nice try. Nice try. Okay, let's keep it going. The rest is okay. What will the students do in her class? Now check this out. You know what I wrote down? All the students are fluent. The conversations are in English and they're going to watch videos and live videos. Those should be my answers. So I want you to look for that, Pierina, based on what I said. They're going to have conversations in English. They're going to watch videos, watch live performances. What answers would you uh, Um. Let me, let me see. I remember what I wrote down. I said, okay, mm. conversations mm. in English and perform videos and watch videos. Not perform videos, but watch videos. Right. Okay, but we have to pick two. Polish drama. Okay. Which one is that, Yerina? What will your students do? Now, depend. I did not write down anything in terms of perform scenes. I did not write anything down in terms of the students having to translate Polish text into English. That's how you use the process of elimination. Getting that sometimes you, you are going to figure it out at some point where you're kind of looking for the answers. But what you should do is look to eliminate the answers. How about that? So if you already thought B wasn't an answer, all you have to do is eliminate one more and you're okay. okay. So what are the final, what are the final answers? C and D. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Polish oh. language. And, and the thing is, yes, I know it was actually supposed to say uh, pick two, but this website sucks. You know it. Okay, so Polish language in class. I wrote down conversations in English. Wait, conversations in... I wrote down in English, but actually conversation in Polish. And also watch recorded performances. I wrote both of those down. So I would have eliminated A and B. 
Okay, let's go into another. Why is the student interested in the professor's class? Ah, okay, ladies. Why is the student interested in the professor's class? Uh, this one says click on two answers. That's right. Now, this one is actually, the, the, yeah, the Chinese didn't fuck this one up. <laughs> I think one is A, because I know his parents are from poor. Uh, they speak Polish. Very good. I like that. Very good. I agree. What else? B is not because he wants, he needs to prove that. Oh, uh, that's exactly. To. Very good. So you eliminated B. Okay. So we're between C and D. Because it's, uh, I don't know what D means. You don't know what C means? Does this, does this, oh, you don't know what D means? The course is related to the, the student student's intended. course of study. Intended. What does he want? Don't, no, no, don't worry about the verb. Don't worry about the verb. I want you to look at the course related student's course of study. I think, see, she don't, she don't say now that she's expert. Exactly. So, A and D. Fantastico. You see how she uh, did that, Pierina? You see how she did that, Pierina? Yes, yes, I understand. She knows because we, we, she, she knows. She, uh, she knows. knows, she knows. Right? Good, good, <laughs> good. All right, all right. Let's go into the next one. What does the professor think the student should do? Now, at the bottom, I wrote down survey course, political literature. Political, Polish, whatever. I think it's like D. Say B or D. I think it's D. Okay. She says that is she suggests a literature Polish before. That's right. Good, good. That's right. And remember, I wrote that down in a star. I wish I could show you both, but it says survey course Polish literature, poetry, novels, English. The course is in English. Great context, learn more Polish. So I would go with D. Okay. And the last one. What does the professor imply when she says this? Now, remember, again, just to say it last week, you are not focusing on the context of the actual thing. You're focusing on why she's saying it to begin with. Okay. Okay. So here we go. What does the professor imply when she says this? I'd hope you'd be fairly confident in reading. Now, she said, I hope you will be fairly confident in reading. I wrote that down before she said, I mean, after she said text available in translation, meaning the English, the Polish, or something like that, whatever texts are available in translation. And she said that, I hope you'd be fairly confident in reading. Meaning, she's hoping that he is confident in reading. But it sounds like she's a little scared. <laughs> Based on what I just said, what would you eliminate and or choose as an answer? Uh, let's see. And B. Okay, you're eliminating C and B? Uh -huh. Okay, good. All right. She eliminated two bad answers. So now we're between A and D. And A and A. So for me, the answer is D. Good. You want to know why? Keyword concern. He may not be able to read Polish. So if you actually heard her, she